Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. It is April 18th. It's a Monday here in uh, Vernal, Utah. I've got a long drive today for a little bit of work. And it's all my fault. And I'll get to that a little later. But what we're doing is we're going from Vernal, Utah over to a place called Clearfield, Utah, where we have a job. Uh, this job we planned on completing last week on a Thursday afternoon. It was a, a really fun job, really cool. Uh, we're hanging these steel canopies up for a customer of ours. And, uh, oh, there's a drilling rig in the, in the background there. Oil and gas is a big part of our industry here where I live and where I have my business. But anyway, I sent my crew out here, it was right before Easter weekend, and everything was prefabbed in the shop, pre-designed. We built it, sent it to powder coat, had to get powder coated, and then when it was done, we scheduled uh, time to assemble the canopies on the site, which was last week. And uh, this is where I learned, I learned a hard lesson where I was trying to save time because the I've got two businesses, WelderMade.com and my my fabrication company, CRV Welding, um, and both businesses are doing really well right now. And so I am really busy, and I don't have a whole lot of time. Um, but that's where this lesson's kind of unique. So I designed all these canopies on a program called SolidWorks, where I do all my CAD programming and designing for these these steel structures and and these jobs and uh, I dedicate all my time in that area that's where I do all my planning making sure my material orders are correct making sure that my uh, parts are here when I need them that the dimensions are accurate on the blueprints for my guys to build the projects on and uh, anyway so I, I design these canopies all's well and they've got these kind of decorative hangers that go from the end corner all the way up to the top, uh, the, well, up to the building where it kind of acts as a brace and it's a support and it looks really cool. And it's starting to be a, a thing that a lot of people are liking on these on these buildings that they're putting up. And uh, anyway, so I overlooked the small part of the, the hangar side, but I, I, I knew it was really important and so I triple checked some measurements, uh, did the takeoffs for the eyelet brackets and uh, made sure on the CAD program that it all lined up. Okay, so when we were building these eyelets, we had cut this round rod to length, a little bit long, sent it to a machine shop, and they would machine threads on the one end. And then after that, we would hand bend these eyelets. We'd put them in the forge, heat them up, bend a cool hand bent eyelet on the top of these rods. And then uh, we needed to make a, a, a calculation to cut off the extra before we bent rod. I didn't know what the takeoff exactly would be for bending the rod by hand and I knew I needed to get the rod to the machine shop as soon as possible so the machine shop could get the threads on it. And so the machine shop gets the threads on it, we bend them, we th I thought my calculations were correct, I did my math several times, I, I bent them and sent them to powder coat and paid to get them powder coated. Uh, fast forward a couple weeks to my guys installing these canopies last week, uh, right before Easter weekend, they were excited to get off uh, for Easter weekend. And uh, all's going well, I get a phone call and they tell me that my hangers are too long and they're not gonna fit. And this job's about three hours away from our shop in another town. And uh, we brainstormed a couple ideas. They went and got some hand thread, some hand taps, tried to tap them a little longer. And it just was gonna take too long and they were gonna be out there too late and it was gonna ruin their vacation plans. And it was not fair for them to sacrifice that time because of my screw up. And so long story short, they get, they get the rods back to me on a Friday night and I call my machine shop and uh and begged and pleaded to get them done over the weekend which i hate doing to people because i hate it when they do it to me um but they i was fortunate enough that they were able to get them done over the weekend and so here i am monday morning going driving 
I'll have a total of six and a half hours of drive time to go install these hangers. It's gonna take me about 30 minutes to install them and I'll be on my way back. And so I'm sitting here driving, it's a beautiful day. Um, I'm just getting, trying to get the positive out of the situation. Um, I gotta go see the job for myself. I gotta get good pictures and video um, for the websites and stuff. And, and But what my main thing I'm getting out of this that I learned is how much time did I really save by not triple checking that those eyelets fit before they went to powder coat. That day that I took them to powder coat, I was trying to save 30 minutes by not assembling one canopy to make sure it fit. Because I thought that 30 minutes was too much to, to dedicate to testing something that I had already double checked. So now I'm dedicating a full day to go install these canopies. And so I'm going doggone Chandler, 30 minutes wasn't too bad. Now you've got a nine hour day between getting there and getting back and unloading and whatnot. But uh, that's fabrication and that's part of the business we're in. Um, I love what I do. I'll take you guys on this journey with me. I'm in the welding truck. We're gonna kind of drive through the beautiful state of Utah. We'll go from there. So stay tuned. Check this out. With these rising fuel prices, Stops me at 150 bucks. And that gets me to about three quarter. If I fill up my truck and my welder, it's just over 250 bucks. Guys, we just arrived here at the job site. Got the welding truck today. Show you a little bit of what's going on here. So these hangers that I brought back here after we re-threaded them are gonna be going on these steel canopies here where you see the ratchet straps. So I'm gonna get the welding truck all set up and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing today. All right, guys, I just got all set up here. Show you a little bit what's going on so these are my hanger rods what happened last week is i was two inches too long here and so what we did is we threaded it back further and i'll be able to pick the custom length for each canopy and just cut it off and so that's where we went wrong i'm going to start hanging these canopies here and start replacing it with these ratchet straps stay tuned all right guys just finished up this project Got all the hangers mounted. Everything went well now that we had the right length of hanger. So I'm really happy I was able to come out here and see the project and finish it up. It turned out amazing, better than I had hoped for. So um, I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to do this job and do what I do. On to the next. Mm -hmm. 